that's some sort of wa, wa ha no, wa ha wa. What happened Wednesday? Hey Lip, how's it going, gang? What's crack a lacking? It's Tuesday night slash Wednesday, depending when if you're watching this video. Twelve eighteen. I just did terrific slash terrible Tuesday. Um, I tried to do my 1K rolls off, but my abs are so freaking sore from Sunday that I can't sit on a roller. I can't do it, I can't do it. Gonna have to wait. Anyway, let's talk about what happened Wednesday. Ooh, we've got some spicy conditioning coming up. Part A, every five minutes for five rounds. Within that five minutes, your goal is to complete 80 or 60 double unders. That's sort of like a male, female scale, but you can mix it up. 200 meter run and then 10 squat cleans. And the 10 squat cleans, I wrote five each side, but that's wrong, it is 10 each side. My bad, my bad, my bad. So in a five minute window, 80 double unders or 60 double unders, 200 meter run, and then 10 squat cleans, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. As Soon as you've done that, you rest the remainder of the five minutes for you. Rinse, repeat. Your goal would be to get 45 to 60 seconds rest every round, of course, so that'd be your first scale. Wedge everything in there, uh, 45 to 60 seconds. Quickly do the math. How long is it going to take me to run 200 meters? How long is it going to take me to do 80, 60 double unders or a scaling? The minutes are already stacking up. I can see like, you know, a minute for the 200, a minute for minute plus for the 80 double unders. Once we get a bit fatigued, that's two, two and a half minutes. I'm going to add some squat cleans in there. That's another 30, 40 seconds. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Cool. That's part A, every five minutes for five rounds, 80 or 60 doubles, 200 meter run, 10 squat cleans, 10 on each arm. Work fast, get rest. Part B, eight minute arm wrap, mm, just because my abs are fresh, 10 dumbbell sit-ups and 10 rows from a plank, 10 on each arm. 10 dumbbell sit-ups, 10 rows on the right from a plank, 10 rows on the left from a plank. Pretty simple, I can't see what to go wrong. Eight minute arm wrap. Some people might treat it like a cool down, you should treat it like another working piece, just saying. Um, let's quickly review a couple of things for this little part A, huh? Sure as shit, it doesn't look like it, but I've just started cleaning up the gym because it feels like we're going to be receiving guests next week. So I'm finally cleaning up the gym because it's been a shit fight. Um, even though we're not training in it, there might be people passing through it. You might be able to walk inside the walls again. Anyway, we digress. Part A, every five minutes for five rounds, we've got a chunk of work to get done and we want to snag some rest. 80 or 60 double unders. Our first scaling for our double unders would be um, working for time, 60 to 90 seconds every round. Of course, if, ex if you exceed 80 or 60 double unders in that time, you stop, you move on. But 60 to 90 seconds rest. Oh, sorry, 60 to 90 seconds work, so practice of double unders. Next option back could be doing half reps. So instead of 80, you're doing 40. Instead of 60, you're doing 30. Um, and again, working to that 60 to 90 second time cap. Um, alternately, you can do twice as many for singles. Cool. But I'd prefer you try and do some double unders. If you do 60 seconds worth of practice and you get three, maybe that's better than doing 160 single skips. Just saying. Great, makes sense. 200 meter run. If you're not running, I've got either 30 air squats or 30 reverse lunges. And I'll put that in the notes somewhere. Um, or pick an alternative, it could be star jumps, could be some squat thrusts like we did yesterday, today, right now, whatever. Pick something that takes around about 45 seconds to a minute. It's about 200 run, 45 seconds to a minute, aim for a minute, cool. And it's pretty leg heavy, a little bit lung heavy as well. You know what I'm saying? Last but not least in our little triplicate, triple sprintlet, sprintlet, sprintlicate, triplicate, whatever you know what I'm saying, is 10 dumbbell squat cleans. So I've got to do 10 on the right before I change arms, or 10 on the left. So take the dumbbell from the ground to the shoulder, pass through the front squat, there's one. Make sure at the top, you're standing it all the way up before you bring it off the shoulder. None of that sort of stuff, cool? Stand it all the way up, bring it back past the hip. I need to complete all reps on the first arm before I change. So you can't do five, 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 five. It needs to be single sided, 10 on each arm. Cool, makes sense, that's part A. Part B, you're gonna do 10 dumbbell sit-ups. Oh, this is gonna test my abdominals. 10 dumbbell sit-ups, let's go with that. Oh my God. 10 dumbbell sit-ups, try not to do 
a Ben Corby, try not to crack yourself in the teeth. 10 dumbbell sit-ups. One, two, oh, almost popped me. Almost popped me cord. Once I've done my 10 dumbbell sit-ups, I've got 10 rows from a plank, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And again, I can't change arms. I need to complete all reps on the first side before I change arms. Part B, eight minute AMRAP, 10 dumbbell sit-ups, 10 rows from a plank. That's it for What Happened Wednesday. It's all about that conditioning piece in part A. Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are groovy. Enjoy Tuesday, Wednesday. La 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 laters.